And now to a newly released report, Mombasa Road and Thicker Road are the least attractive areas for office space according to a newly released real estate report by Site on Investments. The report released earlier today also projects that by the year 2017, there will be an undersupply of 2.5 million square feet of office space. Kenya's real estate industry contributes 9% of the country's gross domestic product. Investment in Kenya's real estate market today is largely driven by a growing housing deficit, rise of middle class, improvement in infrastructure and demographic trends that factor in population increase and urbanization of Nairobi City. Uh, capital markets have um, is one of the key significant uh, places where you can get capital. So with rates um, and uh, people understanding rates, then we will see a lot of capital uh, going towards real estate. The latest real estate report by Saiton specifically looking at Nairobi's commercial space expects an undersupply of 2.5 million square feet of office space by 2017, but also reports a marginal decline in occupancy from 91 to 89%. Upper Hill and Gigiri have the most attractive commercial space of grade A classification. Gigiri that falls in the rising market category has an average rent of 140 shillings per square foot and rental yields at 12%, outperforming Upper Hill whose rental yields stand at 11%. Mombasa Road that falls in the grade B classification is undersaturated and least attractive with rental yields of 8.3%. There's still a quite uh, a challenge in uh, supply of grade A office with the market having the, the overall market having under five percent of pure grade A office, and uh, from our sample, I think grade A office was about just thirty percent. While site and real estate report projects an undersupply of commercial office space by 2017, a property index by Haas Consult noted increased scarcity of land, prompting real estate investors to construct high density properties that could in turn lead to oversupply of rental space. That said, there is a growing trend of residential apartments and properties turned offices in the capital Nairobi. Real estate investment trusts like the Stanley income rate have not been subscribed to with optimism for fear of losing their property. Sales uptake, however, have fallen by 75% since 2011 compared to occupancy at 89%, an indicator that investors prefer renting as opposed to buying property. Joy Dorin Bira, KTN News.